What's up Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be reacting to a special steel wall announcement. So basically I just got home like literally five minutes ago and I saw that steel wall had uploaded on their YouTube channel and it says Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic teaser debut. What? <laughs> so um a little bit of background, a little bit of context. This week, of course, is FNAF week. It has been 10 years since the first FNAF game came out, and I remember that very day, to be very honest with you. Uh, I will talk about that more maybe in another video sometime soon. This week, there are a lot of different things going on with FNAF. So there's five laps at Freddy's coming up, which I am very, very excited about. Yesterday, we got told that FNAF is doing a collab with Dead by Daylight, which is insane, crazy, uh, and there's loads of different things that are happening throughout the week, loads of FNAF movie 2 teasers, but today we were told that there was going to be a announcement from Steel Wall, and everybody assumed that it was going to be um, the announcement of a new game that was coming up, and here we go, here is your proof of that. Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic. I have not watched this yet. I do not know what it's about apart from the Mimic. And I am so excited to see what this is going to be about. Let's get straight into it. I'll watch it all the way through because it is only 42 seconds long. But let's see what it's all about. Boom. Okay. What is that noise? Oh my gosh, this is sick. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Secret of the Mimic. Wow. That's a really cool title as well. 2025. Okay. Steel Wool are really upping their game, to be honest, man. I really love that. So... Okay, let's talk about this. This is That was really, really cool. So, first of all, love the graphics there. Love the... It, it, it's kind of like subliminal, not subliminal, um, liminal spaces. So you kind of like have a very open area with just a box in the middle. That's, that's quite spooky by itself. But then what's in the box, I guess, is even spookier. I'm guessing that was the mimic. Guessing it was the mimic. Um, don't know what that costume is. Let's, let's kind of go through little parts of, of this. So we kind of open up and see see the room from the floor up, and it's got a very strange pattern. It kind of reminds me of The Shining. Like the, the Shining was very well known when when the movie first came out to have this sort of eerie floor that was that almost felt like a liminal space, right? And it's, it's this whole idea of like this is this hotel, and um, the floor is like yeah, it it, it is pretty much. It's not exactly this but like it had a similar feeling it kind of like it felt kind of infinite if you know what i mean uh and in, in this in this sense yeah it, it kind of feels like it's spreading out over quite a wide plane but i don't know if there's any kind of law implications here obviously i'm gonna look for a lot of different law implications with this because it is first of all about the mimic and it seems like we're going back in the past like i, I feel like that is yeah um but yeah, I feel like that opening shot, when it first looked at the floor and then slowly turned up, it sort of looked like the puppet's tears um, for like for like a second. But um, I don't think it is related to that. I do want to say, though, puppet, music box, uh, music box theme. I'm, I'm wondering if the music is like a slowed down version of um, Pop Goes the Weasel or... It isn't Toria Door March, but it, it sounds a little bit like a slowed version of Pop Goes the Weasel or something like that. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me what song this is, if it is like a, a popular song, because that could maybe play into the lore of this. What is this box though? That is that is a very good question. Obviously, we know in the books that Edwin Murray was the one who made the mimic, um, but. We don't really know much else about it, other, other than it had lots of different costumes, and it was in this, like, in Edwin's workshop, and it killed quite a few people in there, and then it was, it had a, a bit of time in between, and then it was moved to the Pizzaplex. 
which is how it became burn trap or whatever you believe, but um, <laughs> we won't get into that. So strange. Um, I don't know what's going on with this box, but I, I really, really like um, the feeling of it. Like I, I really like um, the vibe that they're going for with this. It's very, actually very creepy. I really like this animatronic, by the way. Is that the Jester costume that we saw in in the books? I think it could be the Jester. I, I'm seeing like some sort of hat in the back, right? And then there's like these eyelashes. It's strange. Um, the eyes are really, they're kind of like donuts. Um, very strange. And then there's obviously a, the red nose and it seems like there's some sort of like makeup or something on the sides, it seems like this probably is the Jester costume. This is very creepy, I, I must say. Uh, it would also kind of make sense for it to be a Jester if it is like a jack-in-the-box sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Um, but man, that, that's that's creepy. It's obviously the Mimic. I wonder if, hmm, I'm, I don't know how this game is going to, to work or like where it's going to take place or who the antagonists are going to be. Obviously, it's going to be the Mimic, but like, is it just going to be loads of different mini games with the mimic being the antagonist in each of them, but in a different way? Like, I, I'm not sure. Um, but this is really cool. It seems like we are going back in time to find out, um, like, the past of uh, that. That's actually something I wanted to point out. That um, on on Twitter, I'm going to look at their Twitter real quick. On Twitter, they had the description to this video. To see the future, sometimes you need to understand the past. A brand new original nightmare in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Really, really interesting. Uh, and, I, and I really like that first line of to see the future, sometimes you need to understand the past. And, and I like that because we are clearly going forward with the Mimic and it, the Mimic is still like uh, fully a thing uh, after like Ruin and Help Wanted 2, obviously. So in order to go forward with that story, we need to return to the past and see what's actually happening. I have a feeling this could um, either, it could be the um, a good thing or a bad thing um, towards Tales games and like the whole, the whole theory that the books are actually in the game's universe. I feel like this could be the breaking point. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool announcement. I think I saw one more thing that I wanted to point out, and it, it, it's when the film roll is going on. Yeah, there it is, 1979. Wow, 1979, what is that? What, is, what are the implications of that? 1979 was Fredbear's, Fredbear's opening in 1979, didn't it? In the novel trilogy? I think it did. I'm not, I'm not sure, I, I can't remember. Was it Fredbear's? I, I don't even remember. Something happened in 1979 in the novel trilogy, and I can't quite remember what it was. But 1979, that's very telling because in the books, again, um, Edwin, uh, the, the mimic story happens in the... Or no, he was, he was working on the animatronics in the 70s, I think. It's, the implication is that, um, that this is the sort of time era when the mimic was being created and, and first originated, so... That does make a lot of sense. Um, I really like that we're going back in the past, actually. I, I really like that because I feel like recently, especially with Security Breach, Ruin, Help One or Two, it's been very like forward facing and it's always been like, here's the timeline, bam, 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 bam. Um, obviously Help One or Two is before Ruin, but you know what I mean. I feel like it's it's good to look back at the past and to kind of get some clearance because I, I feel like we could also get some clues as to the the original part of the timeline, the, the original story and where everything originated from and the origins of Freddy's. I know that Steel Wolf said that they wanted to make an origin of Freddy's games, uh, an origins of Freddy's game. But, um, and, and this could be, could be it. I, I feel like this, this has a lot of, um, I, I feel like that could be it. Uh, and with the whole Fall Fest thing that the game theorists were opposing, I, I think that also could fit into this. Maybe there was a incident at Fall Fest and maybe we'll see that and the Mimic was involved somehow. I am really excited for this. This is really cool. Coming out in 2025, obviously a little bit disappointing because I would love to, to play this tomorrow. 
but we do have to wait for good things to come. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this little reaction and commentary on this, um, on this video. If I missed anything, then let me know. But I really love this so far and I, I hope to talk more about it in the future. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.